In this video we'll program our buttons previous and next. Just to remind you, in the last video we loaded our data from our database and we displayed our very first record. As you can see here it says row 0 and if you look at our table we have three records. So record ID 1, 2 and 3 but the number of the row starts with 0 so it's index 0, 1, 2. So we just load our first record and what we want to do when we click next button it should go to the next record. So let me close this application go back to the code and we're gonna do a couple things. First instead of declaring this data table inside this load uh, method. We're gonna take it out so control X and I'm gonna put it right here in the beginning. So we want this variable to be a global variable. Alright, next thing we're gonna go to our back out to our form and we're gonna double click on our next button and it's gonna wire up an event. So now we have a click event. So this is click event method. So inside what we want to do, we want to display our next record, record one. So the easiest way would be just, just if we just hard code it and we're gonna change it. I'm gonna copy paste it right here and let's say we're gonna put one here, one here and one here. So when uh, our form loads first it's going to display our first record with index 0. When you click next it's going to go to our next record with the index 1. So let's see if it actually works and we'll go from there. Alright so it loads record 0, we click next, it goes to our next row. But if we keep clicking nothing is happening because it's going to stay on record with index 1. Alright, let's close it and let's change it. Now, instead of hard coding this number, we're going to actually create a variable. Let's call it, and it's going to be an integer, and we'll call it, let's say, current row. And we will initialize it with number 0. Okay, we have control and I'll grab this and I'm gonna replace the zeros Oops, I don't need that one. All right. Now, if we start it's going to do the same thing, but here it's going to stay at 1. So we need to do the same thing. So let's replace it. What am I doing? Okay, we replace it here. Now what we want to do, we want to increment this variable by 1. So right now when it loads it's 0. Here we want to increment it. There are a few ways you can you can do it. So the first way you can do it you can just do variable plus plus semicolon. So it's going to increment it by 1. So when we click next it's going to add one number. So instead of 0 it's going to be 1. So another way, let's comment it out, Another way you can do, and it's going to do exactly the same thing. And we're going to do plus one. So same thing. It's going to grab our current row, add one, and it it will become, uh, it will increment by one. So if it's zero plus one, it's going to be one. Next time we click it. Uh, again it's going to become 2 and so forth and so forth. And so forth. Alright, the next method what we can do 
we can do it plus equals and we're gonna put one all right there's a slight different between this and this but for our case it's gonna be exactly the same all right so we're gonna leave it like that but what is gonna happen since we have only three rows and it's one uh, zero one and two as soon as we uh, go outside of that boundary and it become three our application will throw an exception because we don't have record with index three let's try to do it and see what happens okay so it loads it goes to the next record now it's Mary as soon as you click next it's gonna throw an exception and what it says it said there is no row at position three so let's fix that what we're gonna do we're gonna put an if statement right here and we're gonna check what our current row is all right and if our current row is larger than 2 what we want to do we can set it back back to 2 right let's try it okay and as you can see this this fixes it but in, in a real application we won't know how many rows we're gonna have so we can actually we, we don't want to hard code it so let's change that so what we're gonna do we're gonna count how many rows we have and as you remember we have a table uh, data table we are gonna place data table and we're gonna have uh, we're gonna use properties row and we have pro, uh, property count now when we count rows it's going to be three rows now if count row is larger than three it's going to be four what we need to do to fix that it's still going to throw an exception but to fix it we're going to do minus one all right and here we're going to do the same thing we're going to replace this two with the same so let's run and see it fixes it okay next 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 so it's not going anywhere all right so we programmed our next click button but as you can see we already have the same code in two places here and here and you do it's not a good practice to have the same code in different locations in, uh, in your application so what we're gonna do we're gonna play this code in a separate method and we're gonna create a private method and we're gonna put void because we don't return any values from there and let's call it display data okay okay now we're gonna cut this code and place it in there okay now it's great because it's not being used yet and what we're gonna do we're gonna put it right here semicolon now there's a problem we don't know what row is it gonna be so from here we actually need to send this row from here to there so we're gonna grab this and we're gonna put it right here okay so let's see if it fixes it and then if it does we're gonna replace that code too okay so let's see what it does okay I forgot to put that it's integer okay and of course for some reason I didn't place this in there okay so let's run it to make sure it works okay it works and now what we're gonna do we're gonna replace this code with this line ok 
Okay. So, and right away, let's program our previous button. And it's going to be pretty similar. So, I'm going to just copy all this and place it right here. And as you can probably get, that's going to be minus minus if you want to use that one. Or if you want to use this line or this line. So, we just need to put minus because the number is going to go down. And here we need to change it too. So if our row, uh, current row, the index, is less than zero, we want it to stay at zero. And that's pretty much it. Let's check if it works. Okay, we go forward. John, Mary, click next, nothing happened. We go pre. Uh, Push press, John, Dmitri, we click again, nothing happens. Alright, there is only one thing you could do a little different. If you want your data to loop around, for example, if you reach Mary and if you click next, it's gonna go to the very first record. What you can do, so if we click next, instead of here setting it keeping it at the same number you can go to zero and you know what let's let me let me actually do this so we have we have it in this code here and here if we go below zero, it's gonna actually go to the last record. And we're gonna just grab this. Let's see. So it's gonna be current row equals to the last row. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna run it again. As so if we click next, it's going to John, Mary. Now if I click next, it should go to the first record and it's going to show Dimitri. So if I go previous, it's going to back to Mary. So now it goes in a loop. So one way or another. I hope this uh, video was helpful. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.